Good morning, everyone. Still at Boiler Bla Bay. Blay, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful morning. I'm still kicking. I need to talk about something real quick. By the way, hi. My name is Emperor of the Universe. Actually, it's Bobby, but yeah. Anyway. I want to talk about some things real quick that are very important in the world. We talked about Ukraine and what's going on there. Putin's actually invading. He's blowing shit up. He's doing his thing. That's a reality. That's not a lie. But why is he doing it and who is behind that? That's the interesting. Here's the fun part. How you wag the dog is you basically your administration is going to shit. The secrets are being revealed. All this stuff is coming out about the crook, corrupt, the corrupt and the crooked bullshit. Hillary fucking, her campaign was funding the, the of course, they were funding the research, the, the FBI and all that shit to, to bring down Trump. That was fun. And the FBI ran with it, but that's not even close to what's going on. We still have the Biden corruption thing going on. He did have that prosecutor fired in Ukraine. For looking into Burisma, which his son was on the board of, who he, he didn't speak the language. Hunter Biden didn't speak the language. He didn't know anything about oil or companies, but yet he was getting paid almost a hundred thousand a month. Yeah. And oh yeah, but after the prosecutor got fired, Ukraine got a billion dollars. What did they do with that billion dollars? Did they buy tanks and planes? No. They gave that money back to the EU. And that went into Merkel's bank account, Macron's bank account, Trudeau's bank account. Yeah, see how that works? It's a money laundering scheme. So right now they need that they need to distract you from the fact that they're all globalists and it's all it's all they're all basically in trying to indoctrinate the new world order into the world, which is fun. I the EU is basically there's a little seagulls flying around. They're so pretty. Sorry. The EU is basically like the Cub Scouts to the Boy Scouts. The EU is the Cub Scouts of the New World Order. They're getting you ready. They're grooming you, getting you ready for this new one world order, globalist fucking scumbaggery, fucking control. Uh, i just really so against it. I'm just a rebel. I'm just a rebel and this is my alliance. You and me and everybody that thinks it's all bullshit and doesn't buy it. That's the alliance, baby. That's the Jedi's in the world. We're awesome. So anyway, the point is, is I'll make it really simple and this is a very important thing to understand Putin is still getting paid they keep talking about freezing his accounts and blah 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 we're still paying for Putin's oil so is Germany so is France so is Canada and now they're talking about you know well we're gonna sanction him and all this crap come on please it's all a shell game just to basically distract you from the tri fact that the globalist order is trying to fucking take over and they're all and they want us to rally behind them this is the fun part this is where the celebrities come in like Ryan um, Reynolds just donated a bunch of money to the Ukrainian refugees well who where is the money actually gonna go is it gonna go to those poor little children on the ground that are being scared shitless by uh, Putin no nope. it's gonna go back into the EU and then you're gonna have, then you can have LeBron James and all that. He's a scumbag. And you're gonna have all the celebrities come out and just, oh my God, we gotta save Ukraine. We gotta save. We gotta go to war. We gotta fight. We gotta bomb. We gotta kill. We gotta be a part of it. You see what I'm saying? And we're all in this together, and Biden's our leader. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? They're a bunch of scumbags, and I don't buy it. Putin is a thug. I buy that. But he's he's their thug. That Salamani guy, that you, um, that Iranian general that was blown up in uh, Iraq by Trump, he was one of the henchmen for the globalist. He was a henchman for the EU. He wasn't some rogue dude. He was put in there by the EU to, to cause destruction, to cause chaos, to basically keep it just, just, oh, he was also, part of his job was to disperse money throughout all the terrorist organizations and to the lower level scumbags. You know those pallets of money that were flown into um, Iran by Obama? That was Soleimani's job was to go and distribute all that shit out. Trump figured that out and he blew that dude to shit. Why do you think Pelosi and all those people got so pissed when Soleimani got bombed? If you look at the news after Soleimani was killed by Trump, 
Pelosi, all of them were just pissed. They were like, he should have never done it. He had no right, blah, blah, blah. He's trying to start World War III. Basically, they, they wanted to be informed before he did it. You know what he said? He said, if I'd have told them, he would have been, he would have been warned. So anyways, I'm just telling you, it's a globalist bullshit. Don't buy it. Don't, don't donate to the Ukrainian fund. Whatever the fuck that is. Don't donate to any of that shit. Because it goes back to the EU. It's not to help anything. It's just to cause more bullshit. Save your money. Keep it local. Go to your local food bank. Give them your money. There's starving people all over the place. There's homeless people all over the place. These Ukrainian people are going to be taken care of. They're fine. Those people are badasses. I don't know what, you know, it's not, but we don't need to go in there and kick some ass. We need to help them. But, you know, like I said, if Trump was president, well, he is president, but <clears throat> if Trump was president, this shit wouldn't even be going on. But then again, look at all the fucking snakes. Barr is a fucking deep state piece of shit. All of them. They're all coming out just to say, yeah, I was really in on it. So this is basically a video just telling you don't buy the bullshit. Don't, don't join in on the New World Order cheering fucking rally cry for Ukraine because that's all they want to do is distract you from the bullshit. From Joe Biden and the corruption and all the fucking snakes that are running the world. Don't buy the bullshit. Okay? I love you. God loves you. And the universe is still crazy about you. And we're going to win. The Rebel Alliance is going to The evil empire is not going to... They're not going to rise. They're not going to get away with this bullshit. And I will pray for the children and the women and the men of uh, Ukraine because they did, didn't deserve this bullshit. They are just pawns. They're being used by these scumbags. So let's hope it ends soon. And let's hope the people just rally around and said no. Russians don't want to fight. Ukrainians don't want to fight. The French and Germans don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. Nobody wants to fight, but they're trying to make everybody fight. See how that works? Divide and conquer. Drum up fear. Misery. This is what they do, man. This is the Dark Lord's fucking soup. Don't eat it. Don't buy into it. Anyway, I love you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, bye.